today we are going to discuss about the microprocessor la cs332 uh, first we will going to expl explain about the experiments using masm for that we need a pc then what are the different experiments uh, in the uh, masm program first one implementation of decimal arithmetic operation which containing 16 bit addition 32 bit addition subtraction multiplication etc then second experiment is implementation of string manipulation operation and third is implementation of searching and sorting of 16 bit numbers first uh, if we want to run a masm program we must install a masm uh, software in our windows so how to install a masm 8086 on your windows 32 bit or 16 bit for installing a ma uh, masm we require or a run a masm program we require mainly uh, two files uh, in windows 10 one is dos box another one is a0 a6 assembler so when we write a masm programs it will be stored with an extension of dot asm so masm a0 a6 is required to create and run a0 a6 programming file using extension dot asm suppose uh, if we create a c program we will store that c program with an extension of dot c same as when we create an assembly program it will be stored with an extension of dot asm then first download these two files uh, then 8086 assembler uh, is downloaded as a zip file so we need to extract it into c drive and now c drive containing the folder 8086 which containing all the file required to run a masm program then next step is to download this dos box and install the dos box then there will be a shortcut of dos box will be created on our desktop so go to that uh, go to your desktop and open the dos box icon then enter the following command mount c c colon slash 8086 so then it pop up a message drive c colon is mounted as c colon slash 8086 here we set our path then next type the following command c colon it will enter the c drive then we can type our masm uh, command here we want to open a new file a masm file then type edit file name dot asm here file name indicate the name of your file which you need to create or if you want to open then you will enter into masm software then after uh, when typing this edit file name dot asm it open a editor window so we will type our command or what are the programs required to uh, uh, or what are the programs uh, uh, program or what are the instruction re required to uh, execute that program you just type all that uh, instruction in that editor file then after complete uh, your program you save it with an extension of dot asm file name dot asm then uh, exit from that editor window uh, then uh, we want to after complete your program you need to run that program so first step is compilation so for compilation you just type masm file name dot asm here file name suppose uh, here our file name is sum then type masm sum dot asm uh, then it display the uh, output of the compilation either if we if there is any error then uh, just it shows the file name and error type you just uh, correct that file uh, error then after uh, if there is no error is occurred 
for after our compilation then we can go to link then uh, for linking our file just type the command lim file name dot obj here our file name is sum so type link sum dot obj then uh, it uh, this uh, after pr pressing enter key here it displays some messages if there is no errors then we can go to run then for running a masum program just type the file name here our file name is sum so just type the sum then it will run the program and it will display the output then next here this is our C drive, C drive containing a folder A0A6. I already uh, extract this uh, A0A6 program into C drive. So it shows a, a, a A0A6 folder here. It containing all the files uh, needed to execute our or run our ma MASM program. It's also containing the our programs. Then just move on to desktop and desktop containing a DOS box then click on that shortcut of DOS box then type the command mount C C colon slash a0 a6 then it will pop up a message like this drive c is mounted as local directory c colon slash a0 a6 then move on to c drive type c colon then press enter key then it will show like this now it's on the c drive then type the mass and command if you want to open a new file type edit file name file name is suppose our file name is sum sum dot as sum then press enter key then it will show the a message uh, window editor window and we can type all the command here and save the file after complete uh, uh, return our program save that file you here F click on file tab then save button then if you want to exit from this file, we just click on file tab, then exit menu. Then it will exit from that file. Then here uh, I will show you how to run a program that is already written here. I wrote a program, hello, to display the hello message. Then I open that uh, program, edit hello dot asm press enter key then it will open like this here print screen print screen is a macro uh, name here macro is an assembler which indicate the uh, starting of a assembler it, it is an assembler directory it indicate the assembler that it is the starting of the macro and its macro name is print str and it pass an argument message here print str means uh, here I want to print a string or a message. So that message is containing in this argument msg. So this address msg offset address of this msg will be copied into dx register. Move dx comma offset message indicate that this message offset address of this message will be stored in the dx register. And we want to display the uh, that message into screen. For that, we are using the next two commands. Move h comma 0 9 h in the 21 h. Here move h comma 0 9 h indicate that 0 9 is copied into h register. Then when ind indicate that interrupt, we are calling this interrupt 21. Then it check the content of h register. If h containing 0 9, it indicate that that message in this dx will be displayed on the screen then after completion we will end that macro ndm indicate that end of that macro then we know that a0 a6 containing 
four types of segments data segment code segment stack segment and extra segment in our program when we write a program mainly we are using two segment one is data segment another one is code segment data segment is used for storing the data and code segment is used for storing the code so here we are initialize segment it is an assembler directive and end is indicate the end of the segment in between that we are specifying the data here segment name is data and here that segment data named data will be ended here in between we are specifying the what are the data required in our program that will be defined here so i am defining a new variable message 1 then is required a defined bytes and i write uh, i wrote the uh, string hello welcome to a0 a6 program the string always end with a dollar symbol and it is enclosed in a uh, quotes single quotes then next is uh, code segment started here it segment indicate the uh, starting of a new segment and its name is code and we assume that cs is named code segment is named as code and data segment is named as data so ds colon data here data segment name is data and code segment name is code then we will start our program with a label start start indicate the label then colon then first two step is here for initialization of data segment for initializing the data segment first this data is loaded into AX register, then AX will be copied into DS. So it required two step for data initialization. Then any program, the first two step is initialization of data segment. Then we will print the message, message one. We need to print the message, hello, welcome to A0A6 maximum program. So that will be stored in a variable message one. So we will call this macro print str message one. So message one will be passed as an argument to this message one and find the offset address of message one and it will be stored in dx. Then it will display onto the screen. Then move ah comma four ch and into twenty one h. These two commands are used for exit from the dos uh, prompt and then code will be ended that is this code segment will be ended here and then end this start label this is our program for displaying a hello message then we will save this message file save then if you want to save us another name so use save us then save this message then exit from that editor window using exit then type here if you want to compile the message masam file name hello dot asm then it will show the object file press enter key enter key then it shows that there is no zero warning errors and zero severe error. there is no error is displayed here if there is any error it will be displayed here with the line number then next is command is link file name file name is hello dot as uh, not asm it's object file when we uh, compile this file hello uh, masam dot hello masam hello dot asm it will generate an object file so that object file will be linked here press enter key enter key then it will show that there is no errors. It's only just warning. We can skip or discard that warning. Then type hello to run that program. So for running that program, we just type the file name hello, then enter. So it will show the hello, uh, welcome to A0, A6, Masam program. If you want to another command, 
uh, another message we want to display just type here edit hello dot asm then here I want to display another message message 1 msg 2 db study well it's end with dollar then single quotes then print that message for printing that message just call that macro message to then save that file file save then exit then type the command master hello dot asm whenever we change our program you should uh, compile that then it will chase one severe error unexpected end of line so go to that program again edit hello dot asm it will show the error here uh, hello a dot asm nail number nine nine unexpected end of line so just to go to the line number nine just to, you can type here it shows here it shows the line number six where we say because here we show give a double quotes backspace space delete then save the file then exit then type the command for master hello.asm 